allegedly set up a special security wing with the sole task of distancing Washington from any involvement in the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Investigative journalist Wayne Madsen claims the group has since grown into a disproportionate counterintelligence force, mainly targeting journalists and prosecuting whistleblowing security officials. Well, he's on the line now from Washington to give us the details. Mr. Madsen, good day to you. Now, to your knowledge, is this group supposedly uh, operating now, and where is it operating? Well, it is uh, operating now. It's uh, the NSA security group called the Q Group. Uh, its headquarters are within the National Security Agency headquarters in Fort Meade, Maryland. However, the group also uh, works closely with uh, FBI counterintelligence officers as well as uh, something I learned recently, uh, local police department intelligence units. So it's a, a very large group, about a thousand agents and informants employed by this secretive agency within a secretive agency, the NSA. Just to make this clear, uh, when you're talking about the NSA, of course you're talking about the American uh, National Security Agency. You're saying this is emerging as a whole new branch of power within the U.S. Now, if that is true, is it answerable to? It's really answerable to, to no one. Uh, on paper, of course, uh, uh, this uh, security organization answers to the, the director of the National Security Agency, General Keith Alexander. Uh, but uh, I've uh, uh, been told by people on the inside that uh, the oversight committees in the House of Representatives and the Senate, uh, the House and Senate Intelligence Committees, as well as the uh, congressional offices uh, uh, of uh, Maryland representatives and senators, uh, uh, particularly uh, Representative Dutch Ruppersberger, who represents the National Security Agency area, uh, uh, headquarters. It's in his district. Uh, there are informants even on their staff, so people who come to them with complaints, uh, uh, that information is passed to this uh, NSA security group. Well, the NSA, highly secretive, of course, often with good reason. I must press you on this. What evidence do you have to suggest all these claims you are making? I've actually seen documentation about a, 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 an organization, a program within uh, NSA. Uh, it's a program called First Fruits, a database that keeps track of uh, journalists who write about the National Security Agency and also contains information about uh, who they're talking to. Uh, it's it's, a, a, it's a, a draconian organization. Uh, it's prosecuted uh, several people who were just doing their jobs, the most egregious being Ken Ford, who was an Iraqi uh, Iraq signals intelligence uh, uh, officer working in the Iraqi shop who discovered evidence that there was no weapons of mass destruction. He was set up in a sting operation by this Q group, and it's the most egregious case I've ever seen. He, he was uh, uh, convicted uh, and sentenced to seven years in prison based on a uh, sting that uh, involved a tainted jury pool, uh, dirty judges, uh, uh, dirty prosecutors, and uh, with the active involvement of this NSA security group. Not the only case, but the most egregious I've seen. Now, of course, the previous, the, the previous administration, George W. Bush, raced ahead with strengthening and intensifying the powers of security agencies in the U.S. How is the more liberal Obama administration dealing with this then? Unfortunately, we've seen no change. Uh, the surveillance conducted by the Q Group at NSA continues. I've witnessed it myself uh, quite recently. Uh, uh, there's been no effort to curtail this organization. Unfortunately, NSA's power is growing because the Obama administration is now giving them power, new powers to uh, conduct surveillance in cyberspace. Uh, uh, they're uh, placing the Cyber Command under the control of the National Security Agency. So, no change actually. Uh, 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 the powers uh, of the NSA are expanding greatly under President Obama. Fourth of Wayne Madsen, investigative journalist and RT contributor from uh, Washington, D.C. Thanks for uh, joining us today, coming out of the programs. Appreciate it.